In this video, I'll cover PDF portfolios. I'll go over what a PDF portfolio is, how you can open and create PDF portfolios in WebViewer, and also explain more why it is such a great idea to use PDF portfolios in a web application that is powered by WebViewer, which can open most of the file formats that you actually have in your portfolio container. Now let's jump into the actual demo. So PDF portfolios are really containers for various files of any file format that kind of put them together, not unlike a zip file, uh, so that you have a PDF document, but you can also have related uh, Word documents, PowerPoint files, images, videos, really any other file format, there's no limit to that. And it will all be contained within a single PDF portfolio container. And the users who are opening the PDF portfolio will be able to open all those other files in their original applications, or in our case of WebViewer, what I will show you in a li little bit, um, you can open some of those files also just simply in your web application with WebViewer. So if we move forward to our demo here, uh, you can see this is WebViewer. You're very familiar probably with this demo already. Um, but now there's a new feature over here. So now you can create a PDF portfolio. And of course you could also simply just open a PDF portfolio, but for the purpose of demonstration, I'll show you how to create a PDF portfolio. So it says open uh, upload files. So I will just go here and I already have a folder set up just with a number of different file formats for the purposes of this demonstration. So you can see here that I do have a bunch of PDF files. Maybe I want to email those to a client of mine. Um, and I want to make sure that those are not being converted to PDF because maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe this Word document needs to be edited right away or the Excel file needs to be analyzed in, um, in Tableau or you know any application you want to use. So I want to make sure these are the original files. Uh, I even have an MP4 in here and I have an email file because I want to share the original file of that. So I'll just import all of those at once. Um, so here you see they're sorted by alphabet. You can always add more. You can uh, dump some of those if they were imported by accident. And you already see the previews there for all the uh, file formats. And I'll just create this PDF portfolio right away. And you see here there is a title page um, that is just generated as an example. And you'll be able to see in the panel on the left, there's also a new button over here which says PDF portfolio. So with PDF portfolios enabled, which is part of all of the WebViewer base package, you will be able to see um, all the files that are included in a PDF portfolio. So this is really like the container that I mentioned earlier on. And what's really great about WebViewer specifically is that WebViewer supports a number of different file formats, as you know. So if you open a PDF portfolio in most other applications, because they are the original file formats, for example, you open a docx file, you would be opening that file in Microsoft Word. So you're not opening that in the same web application. What it will look like is that you're downloading this file and you have to open it in Microsoft Word. In WebViewer, however, you can simply click on it and of course you can rename or download it, but you can also open it in a new tab. And then you see the um, Word document displayed right in WebViewer and you can start annotating it, you can start commenting on it. Um, and you can open any other supported file format here as well. So if you open the JPEG, I think this was from our recent uh, company event, you can open the JPEG file in its original format, the Excel file, PowerPoint, and so on. So that's really beneficial to workflows that you just want to keep within uh, your application in order to just keep the workflows consistent and not have people download your files outside of a PDF portfolio, even though you can open them in your web application, but people would start having to download the files to their desktop and thus spreading more versions. There could be problems with consistency of the documents. If someone downloads something, makes a change, and then it's outside of the portfolio. So what you really want to, to have is a tool to have it all consolidated in one web application. And of course, you can also make a number of changes to the individual files. So if you want to change the name of this one, uh, you can change it here. This is the sample docx word document. I'll just call it that. Uh, and the name will change and it will be sorted by alphabet. Or you can add more files 
if you feel like you need to add on to the PDF portfolio. That's all about PDF portfolios. Please let us know if there's any questions that you may have. We will be happy to answer those in the comments below. Or you can also get in touch with us directly on Discord if you want to implement it or you have any more technical questions.